before we get to the video, there's something I need to discuss real quick, and I know I should have mentioned this way more earlier when it comes to shared content. Now, as well as you guys know, as well as I know for myself, if you are friends with the user on Nintendo Switch, you can see their shared content on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, of course, uh, for those of you who don't know, or those that do know, if you are friends with the, another user on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on Nintendo Switch, with the friend codes on Switch, you're able to look at their shared content they post online at the shared content. Now, since I'm pretty much friends with most of some people on the channel right here on, on Nintendo Switch, you guys are able to look at my shared content. Now, I know that some of you, but I'm not going to point out who, are probably looking at my shared content. Now, here's the thing. I'm working on the Mega Power movie, and I know that some of you are probably secretly looking through my shared content. Now, some titles, according to what it is, probably could contain spoilers. Now, as most of you probably do know, or probably do not know, you are able to look at your friend's shared content on the Nintendo Switch Online app. Now, these ones on the phone, actually on, on mobile, have an embedded YouTube link, and you can actually view the link on YouTube and copy and paste the link. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because, now, I wish I had a screenshot to show proof, is that someone out there, I'm not saying who, is saving a playlist of my shared content that I posted on Nintendo Switch Online, but it's embedded with the YouTube link unlisted in the playlist. Now, as to whether I post on shared content, people are going to try to copy the link and save a playlist of it. It's best to not do that. Because you never know if these could be spoil true spoilers for the movie. Now, if you guys know what's going on in the movie, if you looked at my shared content, keep the spoilers to yourself. Don't tell anyone. And I will be looking at the comments and the comments in the premiere. If I find anything suspicious about you guys looking at that shared content, I could be the type of guy who could be a jerk and try to meet you off the bat. But if you guys want to keep looking at my shared content and not care about spoilers, be my guest. But if I catch you putting any spoilers if you think of what's going to happen in the comments, then I will remove them off the bat. Worst case scenario is that I can probably unfriend you. Now on to the Q&A. What is up you guys, SSB Anime Crossover here. Now this is the first Q&A I ever did on my channel. Yes, first Q&A. Now this one is based on the Mega Flower movie and other questions that I will take for the video. Now, let's take a look at these questions, shall we? Here's a question here for Cinder Ace Deluxe. Is there any chance for Glitter First Doki Doki and Dragon Ball characters, in this case as Mii's, to return to Smash Ultimate with new looks and spirits. My answer? In the future. A question from Legendary Hero Tundra. Will I be happy? Yes you will bro. A question from Duran. Will both Glitter Force teams be in the movie? Sadly, only one of them. A question from Redbird YT Plays. Are you gonna try to do gotcha content? I actually did if you look at my videos. A question from Pikazel25. Will Chopper be in the movie? Oh, hell no! A16! Nope! <laughs> a question from Godzilla? He has, will I make an appearance? Eh, you're too big, buddy. Question from TetraFan1000. Which older video took you the longest to create? Well, excluding my live streams, I'm assuming it's probably one of the episodes on SSBU or SSB4 times memory melody, pitch, pitch, pitch. Okay, I just looked at my channel right now. It turns out that the tourney video was 49 minutes. Yeah, that was my longest. Question from Pikmin Lover 1015. When will you do a face reveal? Uh, my face has actually been revealed. Somewhere. At a cool awesome place. Zack the Waterboy asks, How much will it cost? My pain. Pikazil25 also asks, How long will it be? It's pretty damn long. Oh gosh, it's Chopper. Will I be in the money? Nope. Yes! A question from Matthew Gamer. What was your first Super Smash Bros. you ever played? Mine was Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Well, I actually um never played Brawl, unfortunately. But then I got to it a bit. And then I started playing Smash 4 first. Then I got to Brawl. Then I got to Ultimate. They were still pretty great games, though. 
ultimate really hits the spot as well. Brawl is actually good because of the story mode. I got to melee and in, in the first game as well eventually. Okay guys, those are all the questions for the Q&A and thank you so much for tuning in. Eh, it wasn't too much at first, but eh, it was a good it was a great Q&A though. At least I enjoyed it. Now for some Pokemon updates for those of you who did see the direct, I would care to show them as well on this video. Now for those of you who seen the Pokemon Presents Direct, you are now able to get Oak Slitter via Mystery Gift on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which will allow you to catch the mythical Pokemon, Shaman. In order to receive Mystery Gift, you must defeat the first gym leader or Brick City, confront the team Galactic Grunts at Jubilee City, head to the TV station, talk to the guy on the third floor and he will give you the Mystery Gift option for the main menu. The event lasts on March 27, 2022. Legends of Arceus players, here's the password once again if you haven't seen it already from the Pokemon Presents for the items that will help you on the adventure. And that is all for today's updates and Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next. Peace. Also join our Discord, the link is in the description.